morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. And today is Monday. It's just another manic Monday. I wish it was. Anyway, it's Monday. Get up out your bed, bend the knee, and thank Jesus Christ for another day. This week, Hope for Today, we're going to act like a thing is so, even though it ain't so, in order that it might be so, because God said so Amos chapter three, verse three says, do two walk together unless they have agreed to meet in the old King James version of the Bible? This passage reads this way. How can two walk together lest they agree? Uh, the idea here is that something has to happen if you and I are to get to this destination. God has called both of us to get to. I speak of the relationship that God had with his children of Israel. That's kind of the point here in the passage. Israel, how can you walk with God unless you're willing to do some things that it takes to walk with God? And I think the same is true of our particular partnerships and relationships and interactions that God calls us to that often we find ourselves in circles and relationships, things like marriages and parenting and co-working where God is calling all of us as a team to get to the same place. But can I get a witness that I'm different than them and they're different than me and I want to go left when they want to go right and I want to spend this much and they only want to spend that much. Oh man, the hardest thing about working with people is that people do peopleish things. And so I'm talking about the importance of compromise. I've learned that if I am just dead set on my way, that I won't always opt for God's way which is his way to get me to the destination he's called me to get to. You see, at the end of the day, a team means that you need to bring your part, but let somebody else bring their part and then figure out what God is saying to get y'all to the rest of the way. I remember when we were building our house and it came time to design the pool and I insisted that our pool be six feet deep. I'm not a good swimmer. Uh, and I don't even really think I can swim all that well. April's a mermaid. And she insisted that the pool be no less than eight feet. And you would have thought that it wasn't that big a deal. But I'm telling you, I fought for that six feet and she fought for that eight feet. She was like Wonder Woman upside my head. And I was like Black Panther and Captain America upside hers. And we were just going at it for weeks until finally... Well, we were realizing that none of us were willing to budge. And we were like, maybe God just wants us to meet in the middle. And to this day, our pool is seven feet deep. I think at the end of the day, God says, if you want to get somewhere together, it probably means relinquishing some of your thoughts and some of your opinions so that the whole can find agreement and get to where they're wanting to go. Um, what's the seven foot deep offer that you need to make? today. I hope you'll consider that. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.